Hi, first graders. Welcome to our second day of how to writing. Last time we brainstormed different topics that we might write a how to book about, and then we chose one. Today, we are going to work on our introduction. You will need um, a piece of paper and something to write with. Let's get started. In our last lesson, we each thought about four things that we could write a how-to book about. We talked about when we write a how-to book, the purpose of the book or the reason that we write the book is to teach someone how to do something. So when we choose a topic for a how-to book, it should be something that we know a lot about or something that we have done lots of times. I decided to write my how-to book about how to grow lettuce. What did you decide to write your how-to book about? Now that we have our topic, we are going to write our introduction. Our introduction <clears throat> for our how-to book should do three things. First, it should get the reader interested in your book. There are two ways that you might want to do that. One way is to ask a question. For example, in my book, I could write, have you ever wanted to grow your own food? Another way would be to tell the reader why you like to do the thing that you're teaching us about. For example, I could write, growing vegetables is fun and rewarding. So think about how you are going to get your reader interested in your book. Are you going to ask a question? Or maybe tell why you like to do that thing. After you get your reader interested in your book, you want to make sure to tell the reader what your book is about. Tell them exactly what you are going to teach them. And finally, you need to tell the reader the materials that they need to do the thing you're teaching them about. When I write my book, I will tell the reader that they need a pot or a space in um, a yard, seeds, some dirt, some water, and things like that. So let's write our introductions. I think I am going to write an introduction that sounds like this. Um, have you ever wanted to grow your own food? Read about how to grow your own lettuce. You will need dirt, a pot, lettuce seeds, and some water. What will your introduction sound like? Pause the video and make sure, write your introduction and make sure that you have each of these three parts. I'm going to pause my video and write my introduction. We'll come back together in a minute and look at what we have. Here is my introduction. Have you ever wanted to grow your own food? I will teach you how to grow lettuce. You will need a pot, dirt, lettuce seeds, and water. My first sentence, have you ever wanted to grow your own food? That part gets the reader interested in reading the rest of my book. The second sentence, I will teach you how to grow lettuce. That tells the reader exactly what the book is about. And finally, you will need a pot, dirt, lettuce seeds, and water. That part tells the reader all the materials they will need to do the thing that I am teaching them to do. Make sure that your introduction has all three of these parts. Next time, we will begin working on writing the steps that we are telling our readers they have to do to do the thing we're teaching them. All right, first graders, I will see you next time.